Children who should be enjoying their youth, learning and dreaming of the future are facing the police for their actions. Take, for instance, the 12-year-old girl who had to deal with the police due to the cruel attack on her nine-year-old brother. Where's the nun? Sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. I don't know what to I'm so sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. One night in Oklahoma, we see a 12-year-old girl being handcuffed by the police for being cruel to her younger brother. It all happened while her mother was fast asleep in January. This teenage girl stabbed her nine-year-old brother, forcing him to seek urgent medical attention. This terrible act shattered the peace of the night. Hospital. He's in the hospital right now, <laughs> little lady. Yeah. Will he live? Pretty sure he will. <laughs> this teenage girl realized she was at fault. She apologizes repeatedly as the officer secures her. This reflects a deep sense of remorse. In a tearful moment, she asks, how is my little brother? She hopes everything will be all right. The worst scream ever. And I thought maybe he was having a nightmare, so I started trying to wake him up and there's blood everywhere. And he said, she'd stab me, she'd stab me. I was like, no, no, no. Her mother was interviewed for the investigation and tearfully explained. She could not believe what her daughter had done. She was devastated by what had happened. It's unlike anything you've ever seen. Terror has crept into the Orlando area. Two suspects, just 12 and 17 years old, have captured the world's attention with their horrific act. Despite the suspects' ages, the two perp walks were videotaped by the Sheriff's Department and posted on Facebook. We do not hold. The first suspect, a 12-year-old boy, was led away in handcuffs by shirtless officers. The second suspect, a 17-year-old, was later arrested by the Marion County Sheriff's Department in Florida. They committed the brutal murders of three teenagers in the Ocala National Forest. A 16-year-old suspect is still at large. Renale was found shot on the side of the road. The next day, a 17-year-old boy was also found half a mile away. Police have not. The first victim, a teenage girl named Layla Silvernail, was found by the side of the road with a gunshot wound. The next day, a 17-year-old boy was found half a mile away. On the 1st of April, the third victim, 16-year-old Camilla Qualls, was found in tragic circumstances in the boot of a car submerged in a pond in the National Park. On Tuesday, August 27th, 2022, from the Blanchard Courthouse, Alex King testified to the atrocities he had committed. Was your dad Terry King? Yes, sir. Now, you have a brother named Derek King? Yes, sir. 13-year-old Alex King testified on charges of murder and Alex King is accused of his father and gives a frank account of the evidence found in the case. This is a letter addressed to Terry. Is that right? Yes, sir. Who is Terry in this letter? My dad. Terry King? Yes, sir. Let me show you states. He was asked about the evidence that was found to prove his actions. A letter was found that he had written to his father, and when questioned, he admitted that the letter was in his handwriting. According to the court report, this adds to the strong evidence that he killed his father. Footage released by the Greater Salt Lake Police Department in February 2022 of an arrest in the parking lot of a McDonald's in Utah has put the spotlight on a terrifying attempt by a four-year-old in the back seat of a car to confront police. Handcuffs, shots rang out. Shots! Police realized the shooter was a... A man was handcuffed by officers in the middle of a McDonald's car park after reports that he was pointing a gun at staff because he was unhappy with the service. Inside the man's car were two four-year-old children with their three-year-old siblings. And suddenly, the four-year-old pulled out a and tried to shoot the police. The police report says the child told officers, quote, I grabbed my dad's and tried to shoot the police so he could be free and do what he wanted. The police revealed that the four-year-old told the officer his intentions. He admitted that he had taken his father's and tried to shoot the police so that his father would be free to do what he wanted. It's a terrifying moment when a young child becomes the perpetrator in a tense situation. In Kinney County, high-speed car chases provide the backdrop for an unforgettable drama. Two 
two teenagers from Austin, aged 15 and 14, led Texas Highway Patrol troopers on a chase down US-90. However, what happened next was a heart-stopping moment. The 14-year-old driver and passenger from Austin started to pull over into the bushes along the highway. The moment became even more tense when several people trying to get out of the car ran away. Officers who jumped at the chance professionally caught some of the escapees, and the boy who masterminded the stunt as the driver was charged with fleeing and smuggling. In the middle of a quiet night, the officers of the patrol post were conducting routine patrols. Then, at 3 a.m., they were shocked by the severe actions of a 14-year-old thug. A 14-year-old boy was involved in an attack on a PPS officer during the night. He fled, triggering a fierce police chase. He was eventually caught by the side of the road, exhausted after trying to evade the police. In a dramatic moment, the 14-year-old wept on the way to the police station for further questioning. When she arrived at the police station, she brushed off the officers there to question her. The tense and unpredictable atmosphere continued. Moments later, her parents were called to sign a good behavior agreement. In the middle of the night in Atlanta, the criminal underworld is at it again. A suspected teenage gang member, 17-year-old Tavon Shelton, has caught the attention of police after being caught with a modified and stolen firearm. What you, shoving me like that for, man? At 8.30 p.m. on Monday, Atlanta police responded to reports of an armed disturbance at a convenience store. When officers arrived on the scene, they found Trayvon Shelton to be the suspect. In a violent struggle, Shelton even shoved a police officer, who eventually managed to take the teenager into custody. You're done, boy. During the search of Shelton, police found items that added to the suspense. A magazine with 16 9mm rounds, a black face mask, a glass bat, and, most alarmingly, a f that had been converted from a semi-automatic to an automatic weapon. Next, there's the situation where an 11-year-old girl texted 911 with a false claim of kidnapping in Volusia County, Florida. The foolish action she did turned into a significant problem. The sheriff says the girl texted 911 and claimed her friend had been kidnapped at gunpoint. As you can imagine, the sheriff's office called out the cavalry and launched... This incident happened on Wednesday morning in Volusia County. Without thinking, the girl texted 911, claiming that her friend had been kidnapped at gunpoint. The sheriff's office called in the cavalry and launched a massive search. Okay. I'm telling you this right now, you're going to take this as a lesson at 11 years old that if you do something stupid in the future, you're going to enjoy those cuffs. I'm not going to do this. When the officers arrived, they found the girl's claim was just a hoax, and the police then tried to understand the background and motivation behind this incident and how the law would deal with this 11-year-old girl. An incident that has shaken up school security has taken place in Florida. A 16-year-old boy was arrested for bringing dangerous items to Atlantic High School on March 8, 2022. Okay, just lift your sweatshirt up, turn around for me. Turn around again, lift your sweatshirt up again. It all started when police received a tip about a TikTok post showing the boy carrying a gun inside the school. In a quick response, resource officers at Atlantic High School took decisive action. They searched the boy and found a gun hidden in his waistband. Hey, coach. What made the situation even more shocking was that the gun had been stolen from one of the boy's relatives. The 16-year-old faced several serious charges, including possession of a firearm on school premises, theft of a gun, and carrying a concealed firearm. In Florida, the story begins a new chapter as a teenager, 
Brian Holmes, is arrested by deputies from the Volusia Sheriff's Office after allegedly shooting at a woman's car in an outburst of road rage. Smokey, stop. Stop the car for him, man. All right? No guns on you, nothing like that, man? All right, step out for him, bud. We'll explain what's going on here in a minute, sir, okay? Step out of the car. This tense incident happened on Thursday when Brian Holmes, an 18-year-old teenager, allegedly shot at a woman's car seven times. Deputies from the Volusia Sheriff's Office were involved in the tension-filled arrest. Stay over there for me. Step over there. Put him up against the front of the car. The tense moment of the arrest occurs and the deputies' anxious voices and rhetorical questions create a deep dramatization and the teen must face the consequences. In Russia, a 17-year-old visually blind girl has shocked many. She has attracted police and many reporters. A girl sitting in a park waiting for her mother was persuaded by the police to leave the place as a demonstration was about to take place. The policeman tries to get her to go, but she doesn't want to. After a while, and with many reporters approaching the incident, the girl still refused to leave. The police, at a loss as to how to deal with the girl, finally forced her to move, and a heated argument ensued with the blind girl. Under the bright blue skies of Florida, police officers arrested two 12-year-old boys, they were not playing shared pranks, but rather playing with the lives and safety of others. Put your hands up. Come out to me right now. Get out here. The brave sheriff sergeant responding to the report heard additional gunshots as he approached the scene. In the bushes, he ordered the boys to come out with their hands up. Where's the gun? I saw you with it in your hand. What do you mean? They complied with the order, coming out with their hands up, but the tension was still there. When asked where their weapons were, they played games with the officer. Start yoga. Oh, yeah. The sergeant searched their hiding place and found the firearms used in this incident. The two boys were immediately taken into custody. They had to face a series of serious charges, including discharging a firearm and possession of a firearm by a person under 16. As darkness falls, the police receive a report of a crime committed by two boys and take immediate action. Uh, Why'd you have this in your pocket? Uh, why, why else do you think I'm talking to you? You can check me. I don't know. We enter the quiet shop. The officer comes across the two boys in question. He calls out to them and they immediately respond saying, I didn't steal anything. Based on the report the police received, the two children were taken out of the shop and questioned. Well, how much more stuff were you stealing? This is, I mean, we're, we're at a whole, I mean, why are you stealing lighters? Under questioning, the lies were soon exposed. A search revealed that one child wearing a black jacket had stolen food hidden in his coat sleeve. Unable to escape, he was eventually grabbed by the police and taken to the car to take responsibility for his actions. From Lancaster, an 11-year-old boy with autism has surprised many at school. Hibbert says the sheriff's department found Abraham and was able to keep his son safe when the school... A father talks about the shocking experience he had when his 11-year-old son, who has autism, ran away from a secondary school in Lancaster. The incident raises questions about how schools deal with children with special needs and their safety. Done everything to provide for Abraham and will try to work with his family. While we're the boy walked off campus and was eventually caught by police officers after a search around the school. He was found about a mile away. The boy's father blamed the school for failing to keep an eye on his son until he ran away. The incident, which occurred on the 18th of November 2023 at around 3:10 p.m led to a tense atmosphere caused by teenagers who came into McDonald's and were considered disturbing the peace. From the manager, if you just walked in, time to leave, or you're going to be subject to trespass and will be arrested. I gave you the water before you came in, they didn't want you in here. Time to leave. The arrival of the police at a McDonald's restaurant was due to a report from the restaurant management 
who were uncomfortable with the appearance of the eight teenagers. This was due to the teenagers' fighting behavior. Last time, all the cruisers in the city are coming. If you're not saying that in, you're standing, time to go. You, you're under arrest. What? The police tried to get the youths to leave the restaurant. However, they did not speak to the police officers. When they did not respond to their appeals, the police officers became violent and arrested several youths who made the situation even more complicated. In this incident, eight juveniles were arrested for being uncooperative and trying to fight the police officers. Inside the corridors of Stenstrom Elementary School in Florida, a jaw-droppingly controversial moment culminates when a nine-year-old is put in handcuffs by police. Calm the child down. Officer Mancata then tries to approach the student to try to de-escalate the situation, but the officer is met with fists and profanity from the nine-year-old. In a February incident at Stenstrom Elementary School, the boy continued to run amok in the school mailroom, throwing items around. This drastic action shocked and alarmed the teachers. So you come down. This is where we're at. In tense moments, Oviedo police had to handcuff a nine-year-old fourth grader for 13 minutes while loud and confrontational words could be heard in the tense atmosphere. A shocking story unfolds in Florida where a 10-year-old has been arrested for threatening a mass shooting. A 10-year-old boy, still in fifth grade, was arrested for sending a severe threatening message. He sent a picture of an assault rifle to a friend with an alarming message. The message included, I bought this and get ready for water day, a meeting for students with good grades. The boy's father called the police and within hours the 10-year-old was in handcuffs. Derek Marquez, the 10-year-old's father, told Inside Edition that his son is still in custody to teach him a lesson. A video of a horrific incident has gone viral. An eight-year-old black boy is hugged by a white police officer and forced into a police car. The incident raises serious questions about the treatment of the child, but what was the cause? So what's, so what's going on then? He's stealing stuff. If he breaks into your house, he steals something. Nah, man, what are you selling, a bag of chips? So y'all treat me like a whole cold-blooded killer? As the back and forth. An eight-year-old boy allegedly stole a bag of Doritos. When officers from the Syracuse Police Department responded to the report, the situation became increasingly tense. Some chips, I'll pay for them. I'll pay for them. Hey, I'll walk them home. The officers put the boy's bike in their vehicle and explained they're driving him home. These kids are being stealing. The video has since gone viral and sparked public outrage. However, the police have issued a statement saying that the child was not handcuffed and that no charges have been filed against him. In a shocking story from Florida, a 12-year-old boy and a 14-year-old girl were involved in a shootout with police. The tension arose after they ran away from their group home. Shooting out the rear window toward my direction. Deputies ducked for cover behind trees. They just busted up. It all started when the two teenagers fled their group home in Florida. They broke into a house and armed themselves with weapons belonging to the homeowner. When the police responded to a 911 call, the situation quickly escalated and a shootout ensued. You're racking around inside the sh All right, let's not engage them anymore. Let's not challenge them. Just hold behind hard cover. We're just going to hang out here. You can hear one officer. Right. The shootout lasted 30 minutes and was tense. The officers had to deal with a hazardous and challenging situation with a teenage girl armed with a sh Seconds later, young Travis O'Brien came out of the house with his hands raised. Travis O'Brien, age 12, finally surrendered to the authorities moments later, ending the tense moment. Surveillance footage shows a tense moment at an Ohio school. Police received reports of three students allegedly bringing guns to school on September 14th. When officers from the Cleveland Police Department responded to the report, they found three student suspects allegedly involved in the incident. They decided to run when confronted by school officials. This information caused panic and led to a dramatic police chase. Hands up, hands up! Hands up! Don't reach for it, don't! 
reach for it. All right? The chase was intense. Two police officers chased one of the fleeing men through the streets and managed to catch him, handcuff him, and take him to the police station. Why are you running? Right? What do you got on you? Get up, man. Where are your boys at? Tell me. In another clip, police chase two fleeing students and catch them in a neighbor's backyard. They are arrested and charged. In April, a 10-year-old boy, Thomas Brown, who has autism, was stopped by police officers for hitting another pupil and refusing to listen to the teacher's instructions. Tonight, two Texas parents outrage, sharing this school resource officer's body camera video showing their son with autism handcuffed at school. The boy shouted in the classroom when the officers approached him for security reasons. The officer and other staff attempted to secure the child and handcuffed him. However, the child became increasingly violent and another staff member appear to pick him up and carry him out of the classroom. The child seen screaming as the officer forces him to the ground. The police officer decided to pick him up and take him out of the classroom and into another room. The boy was seen screaming as the officer forced him to the floor and eventually handcuffed him again several times. After the boy calmed down, the officer removed his handcuffs and calmed him down. Montgomery County police officers released a video of a five-year-old boy acting out near a school and getting into serious trouble with police. How old are you? Five. Five? You feel like you can make your own decisions? Huh? You feel like you can do what you want? Nope. Police officers approached a five-year-old child for running away from his school. The policeman questioned the child on the side of the road before being taken back to his school by the policeman received a complaint regarding the patrol officer's conduct and internal affairs had investigated the incident and that both officers remain on duty. Is that how you want to live your life? The policeman takes him back to the school and into a particular room. He cries because he knows his parents have been called. After his parents arrive at the school, he is handcuffed by the officer as a lesson not to repeat the same thing. At a Florida school, a six-year-old girl cried and begged for help as police arrested her for assaulting a staff member. Police officers were called to the school following reports that the six-year-old girl was kicking and punching school staff. As the body camera switches on, we see the little girl crying and looking frightened. Her wrists are secured with zip ties by the officers. <laughs> Let me go. No. No, help me. The little girl begs the officer not to arrest her. Her voice was trembling and her eyes were full of fear. She may not have fully understood what was happening. Nevertheless, the officer takes her away. Let's take a look at the arrest of a 12-year-old boy by Sacramento police. This juvenile arrest incident occurred after officers led the boy on a high-speed chase for misdemeanors. Officers managed to catch the child inside a building and immediately handcuffed him. The arrest of the boy caused a brief riot, with people protesting and provoking his arrest, but the police continued to carry out their duties and arrested the boy anyway. As he continued to spit at the officer, the boy was given a head covering so that he would not spit at the officer. The boy continued to protest against the officer and was eventually placed in a police car and taken to a nearby office. The incident was followed by the arrest of a five-year-old Palestinian boy by Israeli soldiers after he resisted a passing Israeli soldier. The video was taken by Israeli human rights group B'Tselem. The Israeli army say the boy was throwing stones at soldiers on a street in Hebron in the West. As this situation unfolded, the child was crying and resisting arrest as Israeli soldiers passed by. The child was apprehended for throwing stones at the soldiers in a passing vehicle. The soldiers took the boy home where they met his father and took them both away. <laughs> In the footage, the child is seen screaming and crying and looking distressed as he is placed in an Israeli army truck. He's taken home to his father. 
believes that the child was posing a threat by throwing stones and that he was not arrested nor were charges laid. The boy and his father are then taken to a military base where they are subsequently transferred to Palestinian police custody and questioned before being released. This footage, presented by the Harris County Texas District Attorney's Office, shows what happens when a school calls the police to arrest a student. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Police officers arrested a boy in a striped shirt at his school based on a call they received to apprehend him on the premises. Okay, look straight in the camera here. He was handcuffed and taken to the police station for questioning, photographed and fingerprinted, then taken to the detention center where he was immediately processed and put in a cell. This lesson involves dealing with criminals and being taken to the police station. What did this eight-year-old boy do to get himself arrested by the police, even though his wrists were too small to be handcuffed? In 2018, a video posted by an attorney for the boy's family. The Miami Herald reports police were called after the boy hit a teacher. At one point, they put handcuffs on An eight-year-old boy was brooding when he was approached by two police officers who wanted to arrest him. Police officers had visited him at his school for hitting a teacher charge of battery. That charge was eventually dropped several months later. The police chief issued a statement this week saying his officers followed procedure and did nothing wrong. The officers went through the arrest procedure with the boy and decided to handcuff him. However, his wrists were too small for the cuffs. Eventually, the officer takes him to jail according to procedure and the boy is charged with the assault. One sunny day in Lee County, Florida, three teenagers aged 13, 14 and 15 made a decision that would change their lives. They had no idea how serious the consequences of their actions would be. To disguise their cell phone number, Lee County Sheriff's... The first teenager to be arrested was a boy who had threatened to carry out a mass school shooting. He was arrested within hours. A student at the school saw the Snapchat. Then a 13-year-old boy was arrested who claimed to have spread the threat of shooting black students, which spread on Snapchat. Following a bomb threat, that was posted on Twitter. Authorities praised the bravery of... The third juvenile was a 14-year-old boy who was arrested for spreading bomb threats on Twitter. As a result of this incident, authorities issued a warning, especially to parents, urging them to keep a close eye on their children while they're still at school. We begin with an exciting scene when police officers suddenly arrest a young boy in Russia. <laughs> We see him being carried and put into the police car with a confused look on his face and his hands shaking. This adds to the tension of the incident. During this situation, an adult man attempted to get into the police car. However, the police refused and promptly closed the car door. According to the information, the little boy was arrested for reading Shakespeare. But are you sure this really happened? Let's look at an incident that happened in Russia when the police arrested a 10-year-old boy in the center of Moscow for reading Hamlet. On a street in central Moscow, police arrested a 10-year-old boy. The boy was crying and screaming when he was arrested and refused to be taken away by the police. The police arrested the boy for reading Hamlet, which seems prohibited in the country. During the arrest of the boy, the situation became very violent. The person who took this video resisted the arrest of the boy. However, there was no way to fight the police, and the story ended with the boy being taken into a police car and arrested for his misdemeanor. 